Hey everyone, we're back. Again, we're on the, uh, the Red Sabre 1500, our new laser, new laser welder. Um, previous video we did mild steel. Um, we showed you how to set up the wire feeder, so we're gonna go ahead and bypass all that, um, setting the spool up. It's pretty much like setting up a MIG gun as far as loading a spool into it, so nothing super groundbreaking to show there. We've already shown it once, no reason to uh, waste time showing it again. We've got our laser hooked up. Again, same thing as the mild steel. You know, we've got our feeder um, into this little mount here on the gun with our guide tube up to the uh, tip. So let's go ahead and fire the, the welder back up. We do have um, pure argon. We're running about 40 CFH um, through the flow meter. So we'll get it fired up. We'll adjust our focal length real quick and we'll get to some aluminum welding. <clears throat> All right, so the control panel, we're still in our laser welding system uh, setup. We don't need to change anything. There's no difference in the process. We're still doing eighth inch aluminum. Um, so I'm going to leave it set up on 1500 watts right now. Uh, we've got our wire feeder set up at the same speed. We are running a 364 or, you know, 047 wire. Um, for aluminum, we were running 035 for mild steel. The settings come out about the same though, um, as far as the wire thickness to the wire speed. Um, so we'll go ahead and leave it set up at that uh, 55 centimeters per minute that we were running in the mild steel video. And we'll see how it goes on this aluminum. Let's set our uh, focal length real quick. So I am going to turn off my wire feeder for the moment so I can set that focal tube. All right, so I'm just checking my focal length. Looks like I need to go out just a little bit further. All right, one more check of this focal length. I think we're pretty good right there. <clears throat> All right, so now that we've got our focal length set up, let's go ahead and tack these plates up and we'll, uh, we'll make a couple runs and see where we're at. All right, so I got these tacked up. Let's go ahead and air gap them a little bit again. Let's make our first uh, aluminum run with the laser. So I am watching my keyhole, I'm watching that open up just a little bit. I think we can probably go down on our wire speed just a touch and get just a tiny bit more heat into this. That was a nice first run though. Let's take a look at that and see what she looks like. So, <clears throat> kind of like I thought, we didn't get any penetration on that run. I said I thought we were a little bit, a little bit high on our wire feed speed. The weld itself looks really good on this side, but uh, yeah, we have a, a lack of penetration on the back side. I started getting it towards the end. I slowed down a little bit, but I think if we bump down our wire feed 
maybe five centimeters per minute, we can get a, a little bit closer. So let's tack another couple plates up. Let's make another run. So I'm going to go down to 45 centimeters a minute. So that ran like quite a bit, quite a bit hotter. Still not getting our penetration on the backside, so <clears throat> can probably go down just a little bit more on that wire feed speed and also slow down my travel speed again. So again, you know, we're kind of playing with it, trying to get dialed in. So let's uh, tack up another set of plates, move through the settings, and we'll uh, see if we can get just a little bit closer on that penetration. We'll run a little bit of a gap on these. We were running those pretty tight. So I'm gonna run uh, about a 16th of an inch gap on these. This eighth inch material running a little bit of gap is probably gonna help us out considerably. We'll go down just a touch. Oh, now I'm burning through. So it looks like we need to go back up just a hair. Running just a little bit too hot. And there we go. So that 45 was pretty good. Now we're getting a nice smooth weld where it was trying to blow out there at the start, partially probably due to that gap that we set in the plate. There we go. So we are right on the verge there of getting a, <coughs> excuse me, getting full penetration. You can see a couple spots where it started peeking through. So we are right there where we need to be. It's probably gonna be more on me and uh, at travel speed at this point. So I could kind of see it keyholing a little bit and it looks like I just need to wait for it just a slight bit longer um, the keyhole a little bit more and then that wire will push through so again we're just kind of working through the settings showing you guys how to get this set up i'm not a not an expert at this yet but uh this is how we get there Give ourselves a little bit of a gap to work with. All right, 
So let's try this again. I'm going to There we go. Hold that plate down nice. Nope. Tried to reposition there for a second and got my stealth caught up. We paused for just a little bit too long and then ended up ended up melting through there. User error. <laughs> so we're still getting closer and closer. We're inching up on inching up on getting that full penetration. Um, we did do a, a live stream with the laser a couple. By the time this video comes out, it'll be a couple weeks prior uh, on some 090, and I was getting really good full penetration. I've got some of those uh, 090 plates. Let's grab some of those real quick. I know I'm a little more dialed in on that 090 than I am this eighth inch. So we'll try a couple of these 090 coupons real quick. I'm going to have to move along with quite a bit of a hurry on this 090 at 1500 watts, but let's see how these come out. Yeah, we had to travel quite a bit faster on that 090, and we are getting... Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so that was kind of what I thought. I'm not quite dialed in on the, uh, the eighth inch, but that 090, um, just switching to it real quick, we almost got full penetration that whole way on that joint. I would say the first, oh, maybe half inch, where I was uh, trying to get it, trying to get my feed set up right, or my travel speed. I burned through a couple times, and then once I got my travel speed figured out we got pretty much full penetration that whole way through um, and it doesn't look like you know your penetration will when you're doing aluminum uh, on with TIG um, this is a little bit flatter it's a little bit it's not as concave so that's one of the nice things with the laser is it's uh both sides of the bead are super super flat so even like uh on this side of the plate you know we've got a real nice flat weld it's almost perfectly flat with the plate. So that's one of the advantages with the laser. Um, you know, with TIG, you're, unless you run super, super hot and not much filler, you know, then you can get a flat bead, but typically you're gonna have a pretty convex and a pretty wide bead. Whereas, you know, we've got about an eighth inch wide bead there. So getting that same, that same penetration with an eighth inch wide bead on TIG, um, just isn't gonna happen. That's, uh, that's what's pretty nice about this laser. A lot smaller bead profile, a lot lower bead profile. So if you do have, a, you know, post-weld cleanup, like grinding a weld down or cleaning it up, you're going to have a lot less work to do post-weld with the laser than you will with MIG um, or TIG. So yeah, just a little quick run through. Um, like I said, we've, we've done the, the cleaning videos now for the laser. We've got the mild steel video showing you guys a pretty, you know, pretty quick run through on aluminum. Um, you know, all, using basically the same setup. You don't have a big process changeover other than switching out your, your wire and the wire feeder. Um, 
other than that, it's the same, same technique, a little bit different on the settings, a little bit less wire speed for the uh, wire diameter on the aluminum, but overall, it's uh, there's not a black magic to it like doing aluminum MIG or aluminum TIG. It's once you set somebody up on one of these and you get the settings dialed in, weld in aluminum, weld in mild steel, weld in stainless, it's all, it's all pretty much the same. So there's a, a lot less of a learning curve to all the processes. Um, so if you're looking at a laser, Red Sabre 1500, we've got it on the website now. They're retailing right around, right around 10,000, like 9,999. And that's with the wire feeder, the gun, uh, two liners, the machine itself, safety clamp, the controller, you get a box of consumables. You also get eye protection that's rated for the, uh, the wavelength output of the laser. Uh, we're going to have a lot more content coming out with these soon. So if you're interested in the laser, keep checking back. We're going to have videos um, coming out with this thing, doing different projects, um, showing actually building things with the laser between welding, cutting, which is coming up, and cleaning as well. I'm Jesse McCollum, Brain Ambassador for Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green.